so you can't even see it in the light, but whatever. I have brushed my hair through, so don't wash your hair, just wet it. I think this is because the natural oils in your hair actually protect against um, the damaging elements in the hair dye. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's why, because this is what you get inside, so you get Casting Creme Gloss 2. There's that. I actually like to keep these bottles after I wash them out as well and use them for like hair oil treatments and different things. Um, there's a little tube of colour. There's a conditioner. Uh, there we go. And then there's some gloves. You also want to make sure you're wearing something dark just in case you get colour on it. Or even a towel around your shoulders. So here there are two options. So you've got um, ooh, Option A is if you have never coloured your hair or if you last coloured your hair over three months ago, which is the option I'm going to go for. Or option B would be if your hair has been coloured in the last three months. Um, okay, so option A then. So get your um, casting cream developer and then you're going to get your colourant bottle. Ugh. Here's the bottom, like this. And then you want to squeeze all of that into the developer bowl. And then you're going to dispose of that. Okay, so next you want to mix it all together, so just shake it to mix it. Now I'm just going to use the top of here, I took off the cap and I'm going to section off my hair and then slight squeeze a layer, a line, sorry, along each section. So you need to make sure that you use all of the mixtures. If you've got really, really long or really thick hair, you might need two. But I find that the casting creme gloss does actually cover a lot of hair. I've got quite thick hair. And go as close to the skin um, but don't touch the skin. I suggest you put Vaseline around the side edge your edges of your face um, just so that you don't end up with colour mark like that. I'll just wipe off the towel. Just massage that into your scalp. If you've never dyed your hair before or if you have not dyed your hair in the last three months you will need to apply all of the mixture throughout the lengths of your hair and the roots for the full 20 minutes. Apply the hair dye to the roots of the hair for the first 15 minutes. For the final 5 minutes you will need to apply the rest of the hair dye throughout the lengths of your hair. Okay, so now, as you can see, I've put all the colour on and that look a bit weird. You can use a wide tooth comb and brush it through if you want to make sure that it's really even. And you just want to like put it up so that it's out of the way and leave it on for 20 minutes. So now in this 20 minutes, I'm going to do my tan and get ready. I've just put some um, argan oil and coconut oil on the ends as a heat protectant because I'm going to straighten my hair just so that you can really see the colour better. So the straightener that I am using is the GHD limited edition candy collection I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go and put on a lighter top because um, my hair's sort of blending in with this dark top. But it's really soft. Um, I do like the Casting Creme Gloss collection anyway. Um, I do tend to always 
go for that brand. I've actually got another one. Um, before I was sent this black cherry colour to review, I had actually already purchased um, chocolate truffle. Now my hair tends to just grab colour so I'll put it on for the recommended time which is 20 minutes and it just goes black so um, I left it on for 15 minutes. Yeah you can kind of see there's a ready tint to it so it's called black cherry um, so technically it is supposed to be blackish and then when the sun hits it it's gonna have a red tint. Really nice colour, really nice gloss and I do recommend them um, so thank you to L'Oreal for sending me that product to review. I love it um, and I'll see you soon.